Moving on towards the second half, we're gonna have a Singapore Sneaky coming out of the stream which against Korea's Onisuke. If you remember Onisuke's batter, 5v8, don't know, MZ, don't know, Goguma, don't know. Uh, it seems like uh, I'm so Ovio isn't here, neither is Seiyun. Which is probably a good thing because we kind of want to see more variety of players. But anyways, now then this will be Korea versus Singapore. We're going to be seeing the anti-Korean spawning by very close towards laundry package. Uh, middle will be given to GK and then female dancer as the main gauge, hotel gauge, and then Goguma as basically a two-story. Though I would still prefer you to rotate into two-story instead. But anyways, Sneaky here coming out as Dreamwitch. We're going to have anti-Korean psychologist. Um, Anti-Korean Psychologist, Gravekeeper, and Female Dancer. But anyways, on towards the game we go. Sneaky here, rotating straight towards the middle of the Hunter's Persona trait will be Insolence Detention with Max Hunt and a Wanted Order Berserker. But anyways, MZ decoding here for quite a bit of time. It seems like we'll be deploying a slow music box here, well, fast music box here immediately, which allows him to pull quite a bit of a distance. But knowing this as well, the main follower of Dream Witch is, Dream Witch is still following closely behind. But seeing this as well, this may just end up as a very fast pallet drop right there, which isn't that nice for MZ, but it is the most viable option out there. And then with a double slow music box right here, the second ballet will be ready to go. But with MZ's main follower coming back, this will end up as a normal hit. And patroller's ready. And patroller's ready. Now that's the issue, isn't it? That's the issue, isn't it? We will be getting a... It's a blink! Insolence detention blink! Oh, we're going Dongshen style. We're actually going Dongshen style here. But we're sneaky with another double... Um... Well, I mean, since it's Inkslens, you can just immediately... Yeah, you can just immediately leech on towards the survivor there. But, like, with Sneaky's side as well, he is, like, playing really, really, really smartly here as well. With Flyu on his hands as well, but rotating a little bit closely towards his main follower. We're gonna blink here, but then... Oh, the free, uh, flywheel came out early. Okay, the Flywheel came out early. That's fine. But seeing this side as well, though, we should be seeing a tree and a half Cypher Machine pop. Meanwhile, there is still a Gravekeeper out there. So, with anti Korean being able to pop that Cypher Machine and, of course, the Psychologist for the Survivors now, it's still, it's a tie game. It's a tie game for the Survivors here as of now, as long as they play their cards well. But for Sneaky here, they want more than a tie. They need to go out and control the map a little bit. But controlling the map always comes with a risk factor of re and kiting and losing target but anyways we will be getting a normal rescue right here female dancer having nothing for herself to use except for a flywheel that's already in cooldown seems like the best we can do here is to knock down your basement but wanting to get a pallet stone right there the rebound kite potential has been fully denied very nicely done by the dream witch but now dream witch wanting to troll as far away from as possible her followers just to go map control seems like we're only missing one full cypher here as of now because guess who's nearby it's an anti-current it's an anti current But knowing that this is a blink detention <coughs> dream watch, survivors know full well as well that if they want more, they need to aim for more. But wait, no! Listen, listen, listen. You could have fluted there. But then, like, it was during spin animation as well, so fair enough. That's a miss blink there coming from the coming from that side but we can we get can we get a can we get a flute can we get a flute please flute question mark flute 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 we need a flute we're getting a flute here from the psychologist whistle coming out here immediately it's a whistle and a few combinations they're both they both blow on to something okay that sounded weird i'm sorry but anyways <coughs> they both play something and it seems like for gk kind of want to get the hit right there he kind of want to get the hit right there flywheel very nicely done but we don't want to do too early hey that oh that oh hey no that hit the chair oh okay i see where this is going that's gonna be one pushback when to hit the gk down here immediately i'm wanting to chair the gk here probably what would be the best here is for the survivors to heal but knowing that this is a dream much as well healing will be fully impossible mm, the max we can do is disturb but like healing will be fully impossible Right, now then, with one full cypher remaining on the field, the best thing we- Yeah, we need to de-leech. Can we de-leech? We're not- We should be de-leeching first. No matter what happens here, we should try de-leech first. Because not only is MZ's uh, follower back, uh, Auntie's follower is also back. But with that one pushback there, allowing the female dancer to pull a little bit further of a distance away, we register that hit on towards the anti Korean. But now then, with mid to late game here being quite an issue, this is Dreamwitch's main body. So we get the hit on towards the GK. But Onisuke and uh, MZ isn't deleting. 
they should be deletion though, shouldn't they? Uh, but anyways, Goguma, a little bit of a tough spot here, but I think the only issue, right, the only issue right now is the fact that we keep on changing chairs, which is not good for you. Even if you do reg- Ay -ay 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 The miss hit wasn't needed. This bought an extra quite, quite a lot of seconds, I won't lie. But we do see that the other two survivors are healing immediately right after the rescue, but it has to be the anti-current that comes in the rescue. Not, not, I repeat, not the female dancer. But with all survivors being quite far away from each other right now, the best thing you can do right now is to sell and try to aim for the tie right here. Because early game, consider it, well, well, it, it was it was a tie at the end of the day, so it doesn't really matter right there. We get the heal, get the heal. Double heal question mark? No double heal currently. We only focus on healing the female dancer right there, which is a very good idea. But now then, with everyone currently half held except for the female dancer who's dead on chair. We do see that Gogoma is currently opening a completely new cypher machine, but uh yeah niske well anti current will just have to delete here as long as anti current deletes everything is fine because like female dancer will be safe and sound we do see that the main follower is going to rush in towards hotel right now immediately look for the, toward the psychologist but um knowing this as well all what psycho has to do here is to pull quite very darn far away from this area and allow female dancer and anti current to heal because that's the way you should play against dream much decode the cypher machines well, you heal and then decode the cypher machines. Meanwhile, at the same time, if you change targets, that's fine because there's nothing the dream which you can do. With sneaky side here, we do see that um, she wants to aim for more as the dream witch here, but aiming for more may just end up very badly because not only do you have to save your traits for endgame right now if you want to blink someone down you need to make sure you can stall enough time as a dream witch to get that blink trait up and ready to go to immediately get someone down during endgame to get more than a tie and I'm sure that's what our Singapore hunter wants to do here. But now then, CMZ female dancer rushing in. Female dancer getting an item would be nice. But blink here from Oniske. Blink! Oh! Huh? Huh? Really? I don't think that was intentional. I don't think that was intentional. Oh no. That was not that. Oh my god. With one cypher machine left, we're trying to leech on towards the... Oh, we're trying, we're trying. There's one cypher mission at 40% here as well, which female dancer can definitely do, but it seems like MZ here looking for an item. Very nicely done. We're currently prepping for endgame right here because it's only the female dancer that's being on chair right now, not the cycle nor the anti current. But with that excitement, well, not the excitement, with that blink being used right here, sneaky, having to stall two minutes of time, it's gonna be very hard to do. But Survivor, knowing this as well, trying to force the cypher machine set as much as possible here. MZ acquiring a needle. What a series of unfortunate. Look, but it is what it is at the end of the day. It does seem like Dream Witch's main leech is currently ready, and MZ will be leech her immediately. Meanwhile, Goguma is gonna go back immediately to decode. And uh, Oniske here is still trying to buy as much time as possible for the psychologist to finish that 90%, well, 75% cypher machine. Kind of look a little different to me there. Oh, uh, they're trying to register normal hit there, Lamal. But like, all what female dancer do is to delete in front of Sneaky here. Because, like, if you get Terror Shock during the leech, that would be nice, but it's that could be a really nice buff for Dream Witch, but that's not possible, sadly. That will not be possible. Now, then, with the Cypher Machine Prime from Psychologist's side, Oniske being near an exit gate. And uh, we also do see that Female Dancer is probably going to rotate to an exit gate immediately here, right after she primes the. Oh, never mind, she primes. She probably primed the re leech at 99 right now. And Oniske is quite dangerous here, quite dangerous here, but this still should guarantee a tie from Singapore's side. Right? Right. Ah, well, you know, I'm not going to doubt it. I'm not going to doubt it. Then let's see, Oniske. The Oniske have, have, does have three disarms ready to go, but three disarms is only, is only 18 seconds. And then Goguma being forced away from this area with Blink ready as well to go. We got to be careful here, but predict. No predict just yet. Predict. No predict just yet. Oh, hey, 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 we don't blink like that, Sneaky. We don't blink like that. We never blink like that. We just don't blink like that. But um, I think this is Female Dancer's Leech that we're using. No, no, we're not using Female Dancer's Leech here. But we're currently stalling for detention time here for as long as we can. This is Dream Witch's main follower. Goguma still containing for as long as possible here. In between just one pallet, you can do so many mind games. But with that exit gate being open right there, if Goguma here can contain for at least... Oh, ooh, wee, 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 wee. For at least 30 more seconds, I think they're actually going to come in for the rescue for the True Man Escape. But with Blink ready to go in five seconds i think that'll be impossible okay 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 you all just have to go now please just go now this is scaring me 
Uh, blink is ready on Dream, which is main follower side. But even if you do blink it right here, it's not gonna be enough. Now then, let's congratulate the tie here coming from. Oh no, never mind. They're trying to stall for time. Wow, we're actually going for it now. Okay, um, there's an issue though, and the main issue is you're gonna have one follower standing guard at that gate, and then you're gonna have another follower, um, clamping the chair. Oh, there's a basement. Okay, it's a tie, it's a tie, it's a tie, it's a guaranteed tie, it's a guaranteed tie, it's a guaranteed tie. Guarantee tie. Let's congratulate Singapore and Korea for the tie here. Move on towards game two. Hello! I said game 2 but I meant second half. Now then, let's see, Singapore Panda, Serpex, Tofu and Sibun coming out here from Korea side but... No, sorry, sorry, my bad. So sorry, sorry. Singapore Serpex, Panda, Tofu and Yuki coming out from Singapore side. And for Korea, we're gonna have Sibun as our hunter. I don't really know this hunter as I don't watch IVS Korea. Um, but anyways... Seeing this right now, Korea needs a tie as well, but they could potentially go for the win here if they really want. If they really, really, really want the early game, well, first game advantage, let's say. But with this in mind as well, forward flywheel, psychologist window speed boost, female dancer window speed boost, and patient with the tide. Sibu is going to bring insulin's attention here as the hunter. This will most likely be a blink, but teleport, if it's a teleport as well, it's kind of understandable. But on towards the game we go. We're going to link the ciphers here immediately instead of not linking this, instead of not linking and just doing two normal hits on towards the survivors. But seeing that the female dancer is, up, is upstairs right now isn't really the best for you. Tofu also landing, well, also decoding a little bit early right there. Not that much of a great idea we also do just see that the patient is nearby serpex taking that window speed booster psychologist with windows but no flywheel at least there's still a borrowed time but this most likely will land on towards the psychologist uh looking around here from oh no that didn't land that didn't land oops Looking around here from sleep inside, trying to see that where the cipher machines are currently being decoded. The slow music box may actually just be really bad now for the hunter, because not only are you forced to change, you are also he's changing targets here to Yuki, and it does seem like Singapore realizes this as well. For now, the survivors know right against a hermit. What you need to do is to pull distance immediately. Like no, no one in this era in this season or era of survivor remains are going to like chase after you head on that just won't happen and we also see that Sibun here is trying to locate the survivors nearby seeing how much the cypher machines are currently being decoded sees that there's actually a patient here but chasing after patient may just not be the best hey that's a nice stun but not enough sadly 10 seconds into miracle orb cooldown we're gonna pull a pull us distance with the hook just to get a little bit further away from the hermit as possible but with patient in oh that's a very nice start that, that's done surprisingly but with patient in mind here we will land a normal hit not a flywheel so probably could do that this is a windows speed boost or a tie turner but seeing from this side as well everyone who is currently decoding we're gonna get rid of the fast music box here but like for sleeping once again the main issue is oh we're gonna come in sir pixel should not have decoded there but that's fine it's not a blink but a teleport so what CB wants to do most likely here is to damage control he's completely giving up on early game and wanting to go for late game that's most likely his plan here but uh, coming up towards a two-story setting like this this is not good for patient but patient immediately getting down right there with a very beautiful hook and a very beautiful corner cush not allowing the hermit to do much but seeing from this side as well serpex serpex is really good at rotating here and cutting corners especially knowing when to pull everything as well and that miracle orb not landing seeing that this cypher machine is fast look at the five cypher machines right now someone with no items containing this lawn he probably could contain just for a little bit longer as well but teleporting here could be possible but it's also not the best idea to do we're gonna land a red ore pulling down that polish and most likely gonna tp back up but the prediction here from serpex's side it is what it is sadly the sign notifications matters the most here to the survivors just as it does to the hunter but for survivors they have more of an advantage compared to the hunter and then a little bit lag here coming from the stream we are still trying to land that blue on towards the patient will successfully land and now then four cypher machines are done by the time we link everything up here so with with Sibun here probably changing targets may be for the best you need to do damage control here no matter what no matter what you do he's looking for who to teleport you need to do damage control here damage controlling will be very important he's trying to look for what targets to change but 
for Korea now, this may actually just be really hard. Singapore knows that they have the full advantage point here against Korea. May actually be pretty darn bad. May actually be pretty darn bad. Um, with Korea's side here, we should be seeing an... Im we're gonna link. Okay, we're linking, but... But, 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 but the cipher machines are done. That's the annoying part. Thinking that there's actually the patient nearby, but actually it's the female dancer. It's not a bad prediction, but once again, Steven losing his star gets quite a bit here. Even if you land that miracle orb, it's not going to matter. You're not at full presence yet. You're just a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction away from max presence. Now that opening up max presence, we should be able to teleport in immediately. That's probably the best to do right now, but kind of overextending himself right there, but still managed to landing that. And it will be the female dancer hit. Now then, with this time of control in mind, we could potentially just change targets, but Steven doesn't know which survival survivors are currently decoding which cypher machine not good not good at all yuki's still pulling quite a bit of the distance here and for sibun it's gonna be very important to know what cypher machine is currently being decoded but since they're linked it's quite hard it is quite hard to realize isn't it this is not good because the cypher all cypher machines are going to be primed by this race and like knowing these survivors as well they're, they did heal pretty darn early especially against a hermit like this healing early will be Will be prior, will be prior. Teleporting in straight towards Serpex. Serpex, who is the patient. Uh, that's a nice stun. That's a nice damage control. But can we land a blue on forward? Perhaps, mayhaps. But even if you do land forward on blue, it's not going to be easy for you to do much. Oh, uh, we changed to red. Okay, so forward wants to body block, it seems. That's fine. And then forward not wanting to body block anymore. We're going to teleport in straight towards the patient. Patient once again double blocking, but Sibu knows this himself as well. Kind of, kind of like protecting himself. Not protect. Kind of, um, not avoid. I don't know the name, but we'll get a normal hit here and the Cypher Machine is primed. By the time that Panda comes to rescue, the Cypher Machine is primed. Panda can just do a full ball rescue. Well, half ball rescue, preferably. You cannot do a full ball because you need something to contain for endgame. You do need something to contain for endgame right here. Uh, knowing Panda, if Panda can touch a Cypher machine, it'll be great. But if he can't, he'll, ha yeah, he'll have to pull the ball here. That's a nice stun. This will allow Patient to contain for a little bit longer by himself or just rotating towards somewhere that's a little bit safer to play around in. But seeing this as well, you're not allowed to link. Forward, forward, still trying to play the mind games right here. Oh, forward going down. Cypher machine's not done. We could possibly just pick forward up. Okay, we decided to pick forward up to allow patients to rotate out. And what this means now is Tofu will have to come in to rescue. Yeah, as long as you get the female dancer or the psychologist to come in to rescue, everything should be fine. And um, for patient, he needs to be careful near Exegate though. I think that's the thing. But double blue. We're going to get a normal hit here. And running, rushing into the rescue. We can we should be able to get a double stun. Blue red, yeah. That's a nice stun and that's an immediate down. That's a cipher machine pop, but can we link the gates? Can we the issue is can we need to link the gates? Seems that the gates has been linked here immediately, wanting to land a red on towards No Tofu is going for blue, but I don't even think you need to land it anymore. But the exit gate is gonna be open soon, so no, we're teleporting straight towards... Ooh, we're teleporting straight towards Female Dancer. Female Dancer, that area has been locked immediately and we're going to get a normal hit on towards Female Dancer registered here. But not having two Miracle Orbs to use on Sibun's hand here, Hermit is quite, quite a bit of a conundrum. He thought that Female Dancer was going to come out, but he, she didn't, so oof. Oof. She does have another uh, orb ready in three seconds though, but if you even if you do land this, it's not going to be enough. That's going to be the stun. The XA has been open and patient has currently changed polarity. So let's congratulate the three man escape here coming out from Singapore. Moving on to our second half. Wow.